So guys, let's check it. We're going to add question to the exam. Click on add question. So see, this where you add question to the exam. See each question. Add your question. Add your answer to this. Here you add a question you want to add to the exam. Okay. So I'm not be finished with that. You can also import question directly into the system. You have to import question. It will be important to the system. You just save the question in a save file, then click in choose file, then import it. Now the question will be uploaded to the system automatically. So that's how it works in that session. Let's go back and show you one more thing in this place. This is the key area of the so you can edit the exam. So the exam, you can edit them. You set the date, the exam will start and the time will end. Yes, the time will start and the time is ending. Then each exam then will belong to a particular session, maybe depending on where you created your environment. Okay. So you can make it to be free or you can make it to go pay. All right. Let's go back one more time. So you can view the exam. You see how it works. When you still log in to this to the to the account, this is what I'm going to be seeing. This is how it look like. But this is the admit session. So adding to the admit session, so you can see how it look like. See each exam questions. This side will come in our student answering it. So the affiliates, so the fees affiliate, they can submit. Okay. We only have eight questions on this particular exam. All right. So that's it. So this is to deactivate. Let me just click it so you see the way it looks like. So you understand what I'm trying to say. You see, the exam is already activated. So I'm still login to make sure you see this exam in their, on their page. So you can click on print exam. So any exam that student has finished, so it will be showing here. So you have access to print it. If you want to print the exam sheet for students. So that's it. So we have study material. Video material can also upload video material here. Any video material you upload there to show you the student session with a login. Just for them to study. Then you have notice. Here is where you create some kind of information. So that when you log in to the student session, they will see the notice that you, you have set up here, then you will see the notification. So these are the notice that were created there before. You can see them here. And delete it. I create a new one. So this very easy. The information, the screen information. Here you set up the screen information. Your company name, put it there. The phone number, complete phone number. Complete email address, put it there. There's the company office address, put it there. There is your logo. So you can change it, change it to anything you want. And this will follow the result sheet that you're printing automatically. So when you print the result, this function will follow automatically. So whatever is set up in this session, that will be showing on the result sheet of the user when they print the results. Okay, guys, that's it. This is a CVT solution that I'll have. So let me show you and see how it looks like. So, guys, if you need it, drop your comment below. I'll definitely contact you and let you know how you can get it and you can use it in any school secondary school polytechnic college education higher institution it can be used okay you have seen it how it looks like so please like the video share it comment i don't know 
what you think about this solution all right guys so thank you for watching see you in the next video